when also it's it's been brought to my attention um, uh, that from some of my friends in Scandinavia, like right now, uh, everything is sort of mundane. It's gray and the weather is not really good. And a uh, few of my friends expressed to me that they're going through a rough patch, uh, tough time. And uh, I have to say, really, it's not in some ways the region. Uh, I do come across this with friends and people here in Los Angeles, which the weather is much better than being in Scandinavia at this time of the year. And, or friends from all over the world that, that they express their feelings to me and their thoughts that um, things sucks and they're going through um, a tough time. So, and my advice with those of you, again, is the, their, their circles and there's ups and downs on this path. And yes, you're a spiritual being and you're on this path. And you have to understand something that your guides, your being, your, your higher self, your soul, they're working with you. And you're being guided on this path. You're not just dropped somewhere and left out and not being helped. It, it's not, that's not how it works. And it doesn't matter how lonely at times we all feel, which is a very valid thing, and separated, and we feel like we've been abandoned by God or by existence, or we're going through a rough patch and things are not happening, the weather is really bad, um, things aren't going my way, whatever, you know, there's so many different variations of the stories. You know, we may be challenged uh, going through health issues, uh, whatever. We're going to a, a period. You have to understand one thing, which is very important on spiritual path. It's really important that you, you understand this part, that your spirit guides, they're working with you and they're very well aware of your needs and they're very well aware of your state of consciousness and awareness. It's not like they don't know what's going on with you. But in the meantime, they set things up in a way for your spiritual growth. So you may go, and, and I'll give you an example. And you, it sometimes is like you're going through a tunnel and it's dark and you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. You don't see the light. So let's say right now you're wherever you are, you're in Sweden, Norway, Denmark, you know, Germany, whatever and the weather is really bad, everything is dark. You, you know, you just like, you go inside into this place and you're really struggling with yourself and your relationships are not happening or it's like things falling apart and it's really a tough time you're going through. And you gotta understand this, that you're being tested before you go to the next level. Every once in a while on the spiritual path, you have to pass your test. We're being tested. You have to graduate from that level that you're at and go to the next level. And, and that graduation process, that testing in that period is gonna be a rough patch that you have to go through. And you have to demonstrate throughout this rough patch that you're going through that 
you you are st you are still you have to demonstrate that stillness you have to come back into the center of yourself and not get dragged and get pulled into the world of the mind and the emotions that you are centered and you can see that the mind is freaking out about that oh it really sucks here and it's really horrible and it's really gray and i'm really stuck in this place wherever you are in your life and then again i'm telling you it's just not the weather you can be in a nice, most beautiful place. You could be in Maui, in Hawaii, in Canary Island, in Bahamas, and you can go through exactly the same thing. It's not your surrounding. It's your mind that is freaking out. It's the storm of the emotions that are pouring down on you. And it's a part of your ego. It's a part of your sense of identification that comes and says and believes that you don't deserve to be where you're at. You should be somewhere else. You should be doing something else. You're too good for this. It's that sense. And that's where the test comes from because it comes to graduating from that. I'm not saying it won't happen again. It may happen many different times in your life, but you just have to see like you're going through a storm of life. You're going through a dark tunnel and you just need to be consistent and keep having your faith, staying in, in your truth and having the faith and trusting God, trusting life, trusting universe, trusting your angels and your guides, that it will bring you out of this. You stay and you stay centered and you envision yourself as a spiritual warrior, as a spiritual ninja that is walking through a storm of life. And you stay faithful you keep your faith in trust trusting that eventually you keep going you keep going yes it's cold yes it's raining yes it's dark you're hungry but you keep going you keep walking and then you're gonna start seeing the light at the the end of the tunnel and as you can keep going more forward the light gets bigger and bigger and finally you go through the passage it is a passage it's a spiritual passage that you have to walk through and once you finish up the passage then the garden of eden is going to show itself to you because you have graduated you have fulfilled the passage no matter how dark how lonely how sad how empty it appears to be and i understand how it is trust me that i know what it's like but you your job is to stay centered and to stay in this place that observes the mind the thoughts and the emotions going crazy yet you stay in your center and you keep going forward and you trust that there is going to be light at the end of the tunnel and then once you get to the other side existence is going to give you a break you have graduated 
you have gone to the next level and existence is going to give you a break. It's going to give you a gift. It's going to encourage you. It's going to make its presence known to you that you have graduated that test and you have completed the passage. You went through the passage. So know this, that on your spiritual path, every once in a while, every grade you get to, every level you get to, you have to go through one passage. And it doesn't matter who you are and where you're at. We're all going to get challenged according to the level of our consciousness and awareness of how much you can handle. Now, what I may go through or what you may go through as a spiritual warrior in comparison to your sister or your friend who's not on the path, what, what you may have to go through could be much bigger and heavier and darker because she will not be able to handle that. It will break her into pieces. So existence is going to give her what she can handle. And, and you may have gone through that already and you look back and you say, oh, you can't handle this. This is nothing. I've already, you know, look at what I'm going through. If you go through what I'm going through, you will break into pieces, sweetheart. But what she's going through is all she can handle. So they're giving her exactly what she needs. And you, your capacity is more, so you're going to get a bigger, bigger one. Because you can handle it. Because they see you fit to be able to overcome that challenge. So... Identify the challenge and turn it into, turn the challenge, turn the poison into medicine by changing your view, by identifying it that what you're going through right now, no matter how hard and tough it appears to be, it's going to help you to grow bigger spiritually and develop a higher consciousness. By demonstrating your faith, by demonstrating your spiritual practice, by demonstrating it, not just by speaking it. You have to demonstrate it to your guides, to your guardian angels, your teachers, your guru. You've got to demonstrate that you can do it. And the only, there is only one way to do it. To go and through the challenge and to come from the other end and not fall into pieces. Lots of love and light to all of you. God bless you. Namaste.